There are many things I'm grateful for this year at St. Robert Bellarmine School. First, the most important thing that I'm most grateful is that we have the students in person in the building and the teachers are here working with them each and every day. And that could not have been done without the help of the parents, the staff, the parish support, and each of our families. And for that, I'm forever grateful. So the thing I missed the most when we left school in March for the pandemic was the kids. I missed being in the classroom with them and seeing them every day and seeing their smiles. I miss them so much. I miss their laughter. I miss their joy of learning and the looks on their faces. Learning via Google Classroom and Zoom was uh, not as fulfilling as being in the classroom every day with the kids. To not have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with them was really, really difficult. We miss our friends. Being together in the classroom, like as a family, every day, that's probably what I miss the most. I was so excited to come back after six months of being gone because I just wanted to see kids' faces and be with them. That was, I think, the prayer that I said the most and the prayer that everyone around here said the most because we just wanted to be in the classroom with our kids. It was exciting to see the kids come through the doors again and kind of have that sense of normalcy. I really missed seeing their faces and being able to see them again was just a blessing. The favorite part of my school day now is when I come in in the morning and I see all the teachers and they all say hi and we're so glad you're here. Going into my second year as principal of St. Robert Bellarmine School, I thought my first year was that of many challenges, yet celebrations. We opened the Learning Center, um, and that was a great success. Um, it was my first year leading this awesome staff, which I'm so blessed to work with, and our children are so blessed to have educate. And then March 13th hit, and March 13th was the day, the last day that we were in our school. And because my teachers were so are so awesome, and because the school community is so awesome, we were able to get up and running with our remote learning. And COVID then kind of kept us away from our building. But our teachers persevered, our parents persevered, and our student persevered. And that tells me what a fabulous community St. Robert Bellarmine is. I'm so very blessed. And this year, coming back, after a six month hiatus of not being in the building, to see the smiles on people's faces, to see the children come into this building excited. And even though we, we have a new normal, we wear masks, we have shields on our desks. We are here together as a family. We're praying, we're learning, and, and we are just blessed to be together during these times. And I'm so blessed to be part and a leader of this building and I can't thank you enough. I'm grateful for my, for my mom, my dad, and my teachers. I'm grateful for my friends and my teachers and my classmates. I am very grateful for Jesus. I'm grateful for the food that I eat and for my family. I'm grateful that during a time of crisis and stress, our parish community came together, and I'm hopeful that we'll continue when things return to normal. I'm also grateful for all the time and effort that the staff and the volunteers and the benefactors have put into building and completing our Early Learning Academy, and I'm hopeful that we'll continue to build our St. Robert's culture and uh, provide a great service for families in the future. I'm grateful uh, for St. Robert's, for the community that we have here. And there's a great support group here at St. Robert's right now that if anybody ever needed anything, we're here for them. We talk a lot about community when we talk about St. Robert's and, and my hope for the, the future here, the near future, is that, that that sense of community remains because I think while you can build that community Virtually, uh, I think it's it's a lot harder to do that. I think uh, people being together builds that sense of community quite a bit, and I'm just hopeful that you know we can fill the church again as we did. We can have the kids run around the hallways like they have, you know, without without masks, without any inhibitions. Um, I, I just hope it all passes and that that 
that sense of community that's always been here continues through this. One of the things I'm most grateful as I begin my last year of service here at St. Robert's are all of you, the people of the parish, who when you let Christ live in your hearts, you reach out to others in service, in joy, in parties, in friendships, and even in arguments and disagreements, but yet always coming together as family. And that makes me hopeful that when I move on and a new pastor comes in, these things change all the time, but the faith we share will just be brighter as the years go by. So as we move into a different shine this year, new opportunities present themselves, new ways of celebrating, new ways of partying, new ways of laughing, new ways of supporting our parish community present themselves. So with your vigor, your willingness, and your daring, everything looks just extremely bright. My hope for St. Robert Bellman School this year is that we can stay in person and educate these kids where they should be, which is in the building. We draw strength from them, we're excited to work with them, and that is going to be our hope for this year. And we're on the right track, so I know we're gonna be able to do this.